Dr. Don Scantlebury. I am an interventional cardiologist at Queen Elizabeth Hospital um, and I am the medical director of cardiovascular disease uh, prevention and rehabilitation at the Heart and Stroke Foundation as well as a board member of the Heart and Stroke Foundation. I first got interested in going into medicine um, through uh, the efforts of um, a career um, in multiple different um, professions and I can't remember all the, the different uh, people who came but I do clearly remember the physicians who came in and spoke about how rewarding a career in, in medicine was and how challenging it was and I felt like I was up to the challenge. Um, additionally, it, it, it made perfect sense for me to go into medicine because it utilized my love of math and science. In third form is when I made the decision I was going to do medicine. Um, that's when we had that career day. I was already um, interested in doing chemistry and, and math and biology because I like them. And um, from third form, I, I, I designed a path to go into medicine. There was this one um, female cardiologist who actually became my mentor, uh, my research mentor. Um, uh, her attitude to life was a little bit different from the men's. She was, uh, I, you know, this expansive, um, bubbly personality, um, very inclusive um, um, and very accomplished as well. I originally thought of being a teacher. Um, my parents are teachers and um, it seemed natural for me to go into um, teaching. Um, They're both primary school teachers. I didn't know what kind of teaching I would do at that time, but um, I thought I would become a teacher. Interestingly, I am a teacher now. I'm a lecturer or, or an associate lecturer at the university. My parents, teachers. Um, as I said, I, I, I was pretty good at sciences, so it made sense for everybody who um, was around me to encourage me to go into um, medicine. In the end, um, my science class in sixth form, um, most of us went into to medicine. Um, so it, there was the peer pressure, um, not quite peer pressure, but more peer encouragement um, taking me along in this, in this path. So in terms of the most exciting part of it all, I have to say it's coming towards the end when I was actually in cardiology fellowship and I started doing research in cardiology and research in uh, women in cardiology and I started presenting at big meetings and doing poster presentations. My patients um, have been most um, fulfilling. So, um, Choosing a career in medicine is um, sometimes you're not, you know, starting out. You know, you know, you, there's this whole, you know, you want to help people, you want to, um, you know, do something good for people. But at the end, um, when I interact with patients and I come up with what their diagnosis is, and I'm able to start them on on therapy or like because I'm an interventional cardiologist, so say someone is having angina, um, which is um, chest pain because of a blocked artery, and I'm actually able to go in and open up the artery with a balloon and and etc. Um, and they come back to me and they say, oh, I'm feeling oh so much better. Or I have a patient who is actually crashing and burning in the midst of their heart attack and can treat them um, and instantly make them better. That is exceptionally rewarding, exceptionally rewarding. You know, you, you, you kind of have the patient's life in your hands and it, can, it goes from zero to a hundred just like that. Instantly rewarding. Go for it. Um, there is absolutely no reason why you as a woman can't um, achieve a career in STEM. Um, they, they, there is this perception that women are not good 
in medicine or women are not good in science or women are not good in maths. That, that's rubbish. You know, we all have this wide range of affinities and wide range of, of what we're good at. And um, I'm pretty sure there are people who should really and truly be mathematicians who are in a, a career in um, the social work and whatever because their brain is this mathematical brain this very strong logical mathematical brain why is it that they're doing english you know it's you know it, you can approach english in a very mathematical way or approach the languages very mathematically that's how we did it that's how he uh, was able to to get through but um, if you have an affinity for something, just go after it because that's how you're going to get your ultimate reward. It doesn't make any sense beating your head against uh, a topic or a, a, a discipline that is not what your brain works like. Ultimately, you choose the career that suits you and suits what you're good at. If you're doing something that you're not good at, you're not going to be um, fulfilled in the end. So choose what you're good at.